now I'm back. Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Team Warner coming to you with a deck profile. This is going to be on my zombie list that I've been working on for the past month or so. Got back into the game about a month and a half ago, and I've been loving this deck. I know we haven't been able to go to locals or anything in the past few weeks, but I've been testing this deck online and as well as in real life doing test hands and playing with my brother as well. We're going to get straight into this deck profile. If you guys like this content, we're going to have a lot of live duels, live deck profiles. Um, I like doing stuff online as well, but if it were to come to playing just physical cards, that's much better. I'm going to be showing you guys a lot of live deck profiles because I've got a lot in the works. And I hope you guys enjoyed this content because we're going to be coming out with a ton more. And if you guys want to stay tuned, just smash the like button. And don't forget to comment and subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see in the next videos to come. I've got a lot of decks and duels planned. Mermails, DDDs, Fluffles, ABCs, Plea Forts, and Black Wings. And if you guys want to stay tuned for the journey, just hit the like button. Subscribe. Tell your friends about this channel because we're going to start going off again. I know we started back in the old days when YouTube was not really a thing, like 2009. And we're going to try to start back up in 2020. And hopefully it turns out to be a good thing. We'll see what it comes to be. Hope you guys enjoy this deck profile. I've got a lot of spicy decks I've been working on. So if you guys like these tech cards and tech choices and deck profiles, just smash the like button and subscribe to show your support. And we'll see you guys in the comment section because I'll be chatting with you guys there. I also have like a Discord it probably set up for you guys if you guys want to play me sometime on Dueling Book. I am on Dueling Book quite often. So if you guys want to play me. Um, that's cool. And I also do live stream on Twitch under a channel called YRG. I'll have that link in the description as well. So I'm going to show you guys my deck profile and yeah, we're going to get started. So you've got three Unizombie. This is pretty much essentially your starter card of your deck. It gets all your plays going. You can send a zombie from your deck or your hand to the graveyard once per turn, of course. Um, a lot of those new cards have that clause. It's also a tuner, which is very important. I forgot to mention this card is also a tuner. So it allows you to go into your needle fiber plays. And then you've got your three sheer new solitaire. Essentially, this card tutors out your Unizombie. You contribute a zombie monster on the field to summon Unizombie from your deck. Pretty much is what its card says on the text card word for word. And then you've got your three Mizuki. This card essentially allows you to just recur your zombies from your graveyard and it's just pretty bonkers it's a monster reborn that's searchable with your unizombie or your gozukis that you'll see later on in the deck profile or even this card your goblin zombie a lot of people don't play this card i don't know why it is essentially this goblin zombie or mizuki plus one of these six cards is almost full combo it essentially allows you to go into a two card saruja which allows you to go into a lot of other combo plays, which you'll see later on. It's just very insane. If you guys do not know about the combo, I'm going to show you guys later on. I'm not sure if anyone else is actually playing these, these, these cards. I've been out of the game for six or so years, but this card used to be one of my favorite zombie monsters ever. And it still is. Um, the artwork on this card is freaking amazing. If I can focus. The artwork on this card is freaking amazing. But yeah. If you guys, if you guys want to start trying this card out, it's very good. I promise you that. And I'll try to, I'll try to win you guys over in the combo video, and show you the potential plays that you can make with this card. So, we play three Gozuki. This essentially allows you to foolish a zombie from your deck to the graveyard, or allows you to extend further by special summoning cards from your hand by banishing a zombie from your graveyard. And then we've got your boss monster, two Doom King Baldurocks. Two Necro World Banshee. Um, this card allows you to banish this tutor out your zombie world. And then we've got one Glow Up Bloom. Essentially tutors out your Doom King. You can either special summon it to their field if you got zombie world already face up. Or you can add it from your deck to your hand by banishing this card. Zombie Master. This card essentially allows you to go further off. This, this allows you to go into your other combo plays that you can make in the deck. It's pretty much an extender because you usually special summon this from your hand with Gozuki or um, your rank 4 monster that you play, which is Sayuja, which you guys will see later on in the combo. Um, but yes, Zombie Master is very good. Then you play your three red resonators. This is another tuner slash ex not extender. This is a starter. Um, essentially, you want to open up red resonator with your 
Goblin Zombie. And this gets you the full combo. You'll also need an extender to go with it, which I'll show you later on in the deck, which are the extenders we play. Um, but you can also open up Red Resonator with a uh, Gozuki and pretty much get a full combo as well. Um, I'm going to show you guys the combos later on. And if you guys don't know what this card does, I forgot to tell you. This is essentially Marauding Captain. When this card is normal summoned, you can special summon one level four lower monster from your hand. And when this card is special summoned, you get to target one face-up monster in the field and gain life once equal to that monster's attack. And you can only use this effect once per turn. But essentially, it is like a Marauding Captain. Um, the, I guess the life point gain is pretty handy too for later on in the game when you need the life points. Say like you're in time, you can summon it with Mizuki back from the graveyard to gain some life points. One Jet Synchron. This card is a pretty much a key combo card. It's very key in a lot of your combos. One Dragon Buster Destruction Sword. We play this because we can abuse it. We can use. We can play Union Carrier in this deck. We have Darks, and yeah, um, allows locks your opponent out of the extra deck. So it's pretty unfair. And then we play the Danger Package. This is what I call the Danger Package. Um, some people play Mothman with this. Some people play the other big monsters, but I feel like you don't need any other ones. It's essentially, you just want these to summon bodies on board. Mothman is not guaranteed a body. Also, it can help your opponent out by letting them discard a card and draw a card as well, so it can fix their hand if they have some crappy cards in hand. Essentially, you just want to play these. These allows, allow you to get bodies on board. And they, they special summon themselves when they're discarded, or special summon cards when they're discarded, essentially. Then you play your two zombie worlds. Uh, this turns everything into zombies. Then we play three Allure of Darknesses. This is a starter and a draw card. You can you can combo this card with other cards in the deck, which I'll show you later on. And it's just good. We play 16 darks so we can play Allure of Darkness and feel safe. So let me see. We play our Goblin Zombies, Danger Package. Um, and of course, the Unit Zombies, if you open multiple of those, whatever. It's just very good for fixing your hand. You play your one foolish burial. Um, it's foolish, nothing else to say. Then we play this is a combo, I want to say this is an extender, different dimension reincarnation. A lot of people don't play this card, or actually, I don't know if anyone plays this card, but this card is insane in this deck. You get to bring back your Mizukis by discarding a card from your hand, which is never bad in this deck. You can discard a danger, you can discard a zombie, so you can also bring back cards that you banish with the lure of darkness. Or bring back zombies that you banish with Gozuki or even your Necro World Banshees if you banish those. So it's it's very good in this deck. You got your last and your final combo extender. This card is freaking insane. If you guys have not already tried this card or have seen this card, because I'm not sure if you guys have seen this card in any deck profiles recently or as of late in the past, like probably like eight years. I don't even know the last time I've seen this card played, but in zombies and Diva Zombies a long time ago. Three Burial from a Different Dimension. This card is insane in this deck. Most games, you get three Mizukis banished turn one. So essentially what this card will say, if you change the text on this card, it says target up to three banished monsters and return them to the graveyard. You don't have to have three in your banished pile. You can have up to three. So if you don't even reach three, you can still bring them back. Essentially this says, Reborn three monsters if you have three Mizukis banished. So it's it's very good in that aspect. Also, you can reutilize your Jet Synchrons because that gets banished later on in the game or whatnot. But it's very good. This card is insane. If you guys have not already tried this card out, um, I would suggest trying it out because this allows you to further combo and go into other cards. And that's the deck. I'm going to show you guys the extra deck and then we're going to go into the combo tutorial. So I'll start off with Link Monsters. We play the one Link Karibo. This is very key to your combo. You could play um, Relinquished Anima, but I just choose to play the Link Karibo. Anima is pretty good, but it's hardly ever comes up. So I like the Link Karibo. Then you play the one Christian Halky Fibrex or Needle Fiber is what they call in the OCG. Essentially, this brings out your tuner monster. It's very good. It requires a tuner and a non. Uh, requires a tuner and another monster on the field. It's, it's just really good. Then you play the one Union Carrier. Um, this card is really good in this deck. You can equip your Goblin Zombies, your Mizuki, your Doom Kings, your Blow Up Bloom, or your Dragon Buster Sword. Um, so it's very good in that aspect. Um, 
We also play one IP Masquerina. Um, essentially allows you to link in with your union carry on your opponent's turn because the turn you summon this you can't actually link this away but if you play this card you can link it away on your opponent's turn then we play the one nightmare phoenix um there's kind of two flex spots two or three flex spots in this extra deck you can change out the nightmare package you don't have to play but they're very versatile so um we play the one nightmare phoenix just because if there's problem spells and traps on the field we can actually just discard a card to get rid of it and then we play the one vampire sucker um this card is very good it allows you to trip your opponent's monsters for zombie monsters which a lot of people don't do or no even know this card has that effect but you can also draw a card if a zombie monster especially someone from the graveyard and you can bring back a zombie monster from your opponent's graveyard to the side of the field and then we play the one nightmare unicorn um essentially just allows you to bounce a card on the field very good place with mascarina if you need to and then for the rank fours or um yeah rank fours we play the one mech knight crusader avermax the nightmare uh griffin um you can this card is not it's not the best you can play appaloosa if you own that card but unfortunately i do not own that card i got back into the game about a month ago and have not dumped that much money into the game where i want to spend a hundred dollars on one card i'm sure it's going to be reprinted sometime soon but um Especially with no tournaments going on there's no need for me to buy a hundred dollar card just now just as of now but um we play the one nightmare griffin um essentially this allows you to just um you can bring back your burial from a different dimension say you use it and then you go into a nightmare griffin um you manage all three mizukis to extend your combos you can discard a card to set your burial from your graveyard to your spell and trap card zone and activate it on their turn to get back your mizukis or you can even just use this to lock your opponent out of effect monsters that are special summoned or that aren't special summoned to a link arrow so um it's very good so against non-link decks it's it's very good um we play our one boral sword dragon um you guys already know what he does and then one of the main combo cards is saruja i was playing this at two at, at the beginning but then i just found out it was just too much just going to two like going to two gets you yeah, it fixes your hand. You can possibly draw into your extenders, such as more, more burials, more DDRs and whatnot. But um, I just feel like you only need the one. You can play two if you want to. Cut out one of the um, nightmare cards if you want to play two of him. But yeah, it's very good. It allows you to draw four cards. It allows you to spell summon a monster from your hand. It's, it's, it's just very good. And then for the non-Link uh, monsters, we've got F.A. Dawn Dragster. Um, you can go into this with Goblin Zomb with uh zombie master and unizombie or um you can make it with unizombie and other any other level four um you're shooting riser dragon this is very important to go into on your opponent's turn with um needle fiber then you've got your one more load savage dragon and then your one side frame lord omega um this allows you to recycle your mizukis and get cards out of your opponent's hand to know what they're playing stop their combo plays if you need to it's just very good that is the deck profile i'm going to show you guys some combos i'm going to shuffle up the deck um, and show you guys some combos because this is going to be insane all right so i'm going to show you guys a cool three card combo you can do in this deck um it involves red resonator goblin zombie and burial from a different dimension um you can do this with ddr as well or you can do these combos with um cards such as um Sol Sunui solitaire and unizombie i'll show you guys later on how you can do them with these as well it allows you to um go into essentially the same board just maybe use it lies one more card than you would so you might end up with three cards in your hand instead of four cards in your hand on your opponent's turn so um so this is just a quick combo tutorial i'm going to show you guys what you can do i'm going to draw the last two cards as um well, we drew a Jet Synchron. We'll play, we'll play like this anyways. Um, we drew Jet Synchron. It's fine. Um, we can still summon it from our hand with Needle Fiber. But essentially, I'm going to show you guys the combos that you guys can, can do. So, you open up this hand. Um, from here, you can go Normal Summon your Red Resonator, which allows you to Special Summon your Goblin Zombie. And then, this allows you to Link, not Synchro Summon, Link into your Christian Needle fiber or your hockey fiber x and then from here um goblin zombie is going to be chain link one when he's sent to the graveyard search a zombie with 1200 defense or less 
and needle fiber will be chain link too to, uh, to special summon out a monster so you special summon your jet sink ground from your hand and you're going to search your mizuki from your deck and then you're going to link your jet synchron away this is going to bring out your linked karibo and then from here you can send mizuki from the hand to the graveyard to bring back jet synchron and from here you can banish your mizuki to summon your goblin zombie um from here you have four monsters um, you could also make Sayuja with just these three if you wanted to, but you have four monsters and you want to draw four cards. So you can go into your two card Sayuja. Um, so Sayuja summons to the field. Goblin Zombie is going to be chain link one. It's mandatory effect. Oh, this is actually banished. And then um, your um, Sayuja's will be chain link two to draw four cards. So you draw four cards. Your Unizombie, Gozuki, Shirini Solitaire, and Nessie. And then we put three cards from our hand to the deck. So we'll choose our Goblin Zombie, choose our um, Unizombie, and our Danger Nessie, I believe. So with our Goblin Zombie, since we already have Gozuki in our hand, we're actually going to search for a Zombie Master. Usually, you search out. Um, Zombie Master, if you already have Gozuki, if you have, if you don't have Gozuki after those four cards, you search out Gozuki, and you eventually get to your Zombie Master later on with your Gozuki and your um, Goblin Zombie because you're bringing back your Goblin. So from here, um, you can special summon your Shirinui Solitaire. Tribute this off to summon Yuna Zombie from your deck. Yunu Zombie is going to trigger, and um, you're going to activate his effect to send a Mizuki from your deck to the graveyard. So, right now, we are going to send our Gozuki from our hand to the graveyard. And we're going to activate his effect by banishing your Shirinui Solitaire. You get to summon your Zombie Master from your hand. And then, from here, you get to use your Mizuki. To special summon your goblin zombie and from here you can link these away into your vampire sucker and then you're going to search for your goblin zombie which is going to be your third mizuki and then from here you can use zombie master to effect to bring back your goblin zombie you're going to draw off of your vampire sucker and then you can also if you want to you can banish your mizuki to bring back a gozuki and send another card from your deck to the graveyard like your um i guess we, right here we have all of our mizukis pretty much two are banished ones in the graveyard so we're at the three mizuki count if we need to um so we're just going to use this mizuki i believe um we're gonna use that later on i guess so we're gonna go goblin zombie and zombie master this is gonna go into your um your ip mascarena and this is gonna allow you to search for your goblin zombie so from here you search your necro world banshee And you can use your Mizuki's effect to summon your Zombie Master back from your graveyard. And you can discard your Necro or Banshee to summon Goblin Zombie. Gonna go into your Union Carrier. And it's gonna allow you to search for your Goblin Zombie again. Um, from here, you don't need to really search for much. You can search for a Gozuki. Search for a Serenui Solitaire, it doesn't really matter, it's just for extended for next turn. So we're going to search our Gozuki. And we can actually um, use our Burial, this is our extender that we needed, 
to send back your three Mizukis. If you had DDR, you could do plays with DDR as well. Um, allows you to get two Mizukis, essentially. You get one to the field, and then when that goes to the graveyard, you get to summon another monster from your um, graveyard. So we can banish our Necro World Banshee to activate Zombie World. And we can use our Mizuki's effect to bring back Goblin Zombie. And we can actually use another Mizuki's effect to bring back a Gozuki. So from here, you would activate your Gozuki's effect since you have not activated it yet. And you can send your Doom King Balderock from the deck to the graveyard. And you can link away your, you can go into a link four play here, or you can go into a link, um, you can go into link four with this if you need to. Usually you would go into a three card um, Appaloosa, but um, essentially since we don't have Appaloosa, we can go into our Borosaur Dragon if we want to. Um, we can go into our Nightmare Griffin since we we can go into that if we want to, um, but that will lock out all of our effect monsters that aren't linked. So we're not going to go into that. We're actually just going to go into a, um, I guess we just go into a Borosaur Dragon. You don't need to do this play. If you don't want to bring back the Gozuki to send the Doom King, you can play this separate. You can play this totally different. You don't have to do that. Uh, we're going to go into our Borosaur here. Um, and then we're going to use our Mizuki effect, the last one that's in the graveyard, to bring back your Christian Needle Fiber. Um, so the last play that we're going to do for this turn, we're going to activate our Union Carrier's effect to equip our Boral Sword, which can't be destroyed by battle, with our um, Dragon Buster Destruction Sword. And then um, this is going to be summoned in defense mode just to just in case they've got lightning storm. Um, it's going to be summoned in defense mode. So on their turn, um, we're going to pass. This is the end of our turn here. So essentially, we've got two cards in hand. Um, and this is our board. It is our opponent's turn. Um, it's going to go standby face or draw face, standby face. We bring back our Doom King to our field. And then from here, we can on their main phase. Um, we can interact with our board during their main phase whenever they use a card. Um, so we can use our Christian Needle Fiber on their turn to go into a Shooting Riser Dragon. Um, and Shooting Riser is going to send a level 3 from our deck to the graveyard. So we're going to send another Unizombie from our deck to the graveyard. And then from here, you can Synchro Summon our Shooting Riser and... Um, Goblin Zombie to go into a Borlo Savage Dragon. And this is going to equip our um, Sayuja Skull Dread. Goblin Zombie will trigger. And he's going to search yourself another zombie monster. Just say you search out a Necro or a Banshee, I guess. And then you can also use your IP Mascarena and link those away and go into a Mech Knight Crusadia Avermax. So this is your turn one board. Um, you've got Borlo Savage with your Dragon Buster. This could be Appaloosa if you own Appaloosa. Um, you've got your Doom King Balderock on field and a Borlo Savage with four negates, as long as with three card as well as with three cards in hand and Zombie World on field. So um, you can do this combo many of ways, but with Goblin Zombie and Red Resonator, that is one of the main ways you can do it. But that is pretty much the deck profile in a nutshell. Um, I can show you guys briefly what you can do um, with a different com. If you don't open up those two cards, of course, you can do that many ways. Um, just so you guys are confident about this deck and its possibilities or capabilities, I should say. So, say you open up a combination of these cards. Um, it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be a certain one, but say you open up your Shuinui and your Goblin Zombie, you can do it with this. So, 
So you, you go Shira Nui, this will tribute off, and this will get into your Unizombie. And Unizombie's gonna send this from your hand to the graveyard. And then Unizombie's gonna send a zombie from your deck to the graveyard, which is gonna be your Mizuki. And then you can banish your Mizuki to summon Goblin Zombie. And then you can link these two, if you guys already know where I'm going, link these two away to go into your Needle Fiber. And then Needle Fiber is going to summon a Jet Synchron from your deck. And you're going to get to search for Goblin Zombie, which is going to be your Mizuki. Essentially, this is the play you want to start off with every turn one. Um, this is why we play multiples of each card. And then you can link away your Jet Synchron for Link Karibo. Pitch the Mizuki to bring back Jet Synchron. And banish the Mizuki to bring out Goblin Zombie. And you can link these four away to go into your Saryuja. Oops, this is banished. And then essentially you draw your four cards... And you just keep comboing. You're going to search for your Goblin Zombie. In this case, you'll search for your Gozuki. After you've drawn your four cards and whatnot, I'm just going to show you without drawing the four cards. You can go into your Gozuki play and send your Mizuki. So this is that we still have three other cards in hand besides Burial. So... More than likely, you'll have a zombie monster in your hand. If you don't, then then it's very unlucky because we play a ton of zombies in this deck. Um, then we can banish our Mizuki for our Goblin Zombie and link these two away into a Vampire Sucker. And then we get to search for our Goblin Zombie and trigger off our Gozuki's effect. Gozuki will be chain link one. So whatever you have in your hand, you'll get the special summon from your hand. If you don't have anything good... Um, You'll just be using your burial from a different dimension one card earlier. So you would have you would be buried you would be using burial on three Mizukis, but you wouldn't have your graveyard set up like you wanted to. But that's fine because you still have three Mizukis banished, and this is, allows you to pretty much combo off everything. But essentially, that's what you can do with this deck. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, smash the like button. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, as there'll be plenty more videos to come. And otherwise, that's about it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video and yeah, team warned out. Peace.